Uh, we've uh, been asking our guys to come out and try to put 40 minutes of both sides of the ball together. But that's been the closest we've come. Is it this is a tough team, this city states. They've been out rebounding twice all year. That was one of them. We challenged our guys after the rebounding the block, all that Georgia. That's, it was awful at Georgia. They bounced back, we did a great job. You know, it helped. You know, team by day, I thought played really well against Mississippi State at their place, you know, getting them almost 20 minutes and let us in rebounding, was one rebound away from a double-double. thought that's the best game he's probably played. He's getting more comfortable, he's getting tougher, you know, playing spacing big like Grant at the five helps us be able to play to a little bit more at the four. He's helping us, but you know, I, I, we challenge our guys. I thought we were a little soft at Georgia with the rebounds, defense to start the game. I think they answered that pretty well. And we chart those good college points. And I, I mean, I respect this state as much as anybody in this league. I think I said, coach against Coach James back in the MAC. He's always had one of the hardest playing teams in his league. They still do. And, you know, they, they're a little banged up. I mean, TJ didn't play in the second half. So, but I thought for a for tough, Hard nosed blue collar team like Mississippi State. We we did great and almost double like we charted the blue collar points. We had us for hundred almost 120, 118 and a half, they had sixty-four. So, you know, multi bate won the hard hat. I, I thought he's tough, physical, hard nosed. I thought he played really well. So for a game where we didn't shoot it particularly great, <laughs> we didn't shoot it awful, but we didn't shoot it great from three. You know, we were able to get to the we didn't get to the free throw line hardly at all. I mean, it, one point in the second half, I think we played in the second half and taking one free throw. So for not shooting it great and really not getting the line, you know, we've made a lot of other things go well. Some second chance points, turning them over more than we've been turning people over. You know, we ended up with 27 points off turnovers. So I thought a lot of that was effort. We're getting our guys to play a little bit more aggressive on D, play harder, be more assertive. So I think they've, this is a really compliant group. Make points that we need to improve on. They've done a pretty good job improving on. Hey, Kelly. Yeah. Ty Spears had uh, five. He had, he had one minute. He had it's a scholarship five player now. He better yeah. produce. He gets yeah. in the game, right? Right. Exactly. Uh, and he also drew a foul. Two uh, free throws. Like, just what are your thoughts on what he was able to do? Happy for him. He's a kid that works really hard. It's all about the team. And, Gets in the gym, works with our guys, works on his own game. He's he's coming, he doesn't get a chance to play very many minutes. And it's hard to be a walk on at this level, but you know, when I can get him in, I'm going to get him in. And it was pretty, doesn't play scary. He went to the rim, he made his two free throws, he hit the one three hit. A pretty productive uh, one minute, two seconds. So it's good. Tom. Speaking of someone that didn't play a lot, but played well while I did, uh, Wage, not, not very often you see a 6'10 guy get two steals and two breakaway dunks. What do you see from him and what kind of boost did he provide you? I, he, we're going to have him take Sam Walters in a one-on-one -on -one session on how to convert breakaway dunks. Like, uh, Sam, Sam might have been a little tired there, but no, I mean, Mo plays hard. I mean, that's, you know, he's one of the Worst in the country at fouls committed per 40. You got to get him to stop fouling so much, but kind of this whole package is play hard, play aggressive. We got to get him to do it without fouling, but you know, turn some people over, got some deflections, made some big plays. So I was happy to shoot. He couldn't play him any more minutes. I think he fouled out. Yeah, thought he's had quite a few foul outs in one amount of time. You know, maybe it's good with his foot. He can't play as many minutes to the fouls out quick, but in his 11 minutes, he's pretty good. Six points, three rebounds, plus 11 in 11 minutes. It's a pretty, pretty productive night. Hey, Calvis. How are you assessing the job you guys did on total tonight, and how do you think the team has progressed on kind of guarding talent today overall? I mean, we've gotten significantly better. Um, Tolu's one of maybe the best post up big in the league. You know, he still ended up with 23, so it wasn't great, to be honest with you, but we also, we didn't double much, 
doubled occasionally and turned them over some, you know, for a guy that doesn't handle the ball a ton, we turned them over twice, and I thought those were big. But, you know, Grant fouled out, so Grant did a great job on him last time. He thought he could guard him more one-on-one. -on -one. He wasn't as good this time as last time, but, you know, we did an adequate job as a team. We did a pretty good job on their entire team, but we, we, we probably got to do a little better, to be honest with you, but... I, I thought it wasn't bad. Graded a B. I'm a, I'm a teacher by by trade, or used to be. Hopefully not to be anymore. But we we'll, we we'll give it a B, C plus maybe. Kid. Nate, I'm a huge romantic comedy fan, and there was a moment under four minutes where it looked like your team had fallen in love with playing defense. Do you feel like this team's falling in love with playing defense and working harder more and more as the season goes on? Man, I hope so because I, I thought from the Eight to four, we fell in love with not playing defense. <laughs> so then maybe at the uh, we got some other more fresh bodies in at the under four. I thought we did a fairly decent job closing it. I mean, it, it takes a really mature group to play really hard. Even if you're up 30, we we got to mature a little bit. But we matured in the fact we came out and played hard for a majority of the game. But uh, look. Mo Diabate, Mo Ike, I like Riley Griffin, I thought study, I mean, look at the job Riley Griffin did on Josh Hubbard tonight. I mean, Hubbard went one for nine. Ryland's our tallest of the four guards we start, but we decided to put him on their shortest player because he's their lead scorer from the perimeter. He studied him, really locks into prepping himself to, to, to cover these matchups anytime he could get himself on Hubbard, he did, and I thought he did a great job. So. We do have some guys more and more starting to trend that way. If we can get all the guys to fall in love with playing defense for the entire 40, we could probably do something this year. Charlie. Yeah, Coach, you mentioned Mo, I get my name quite a bit. So where have you seen him improve over the course of the season? Like the time? Well, I mean, Mo's always been tough. Like, like the issue with Mo is he came here and had to have surgery, so he missed the entire summer. I really didn't get to play any live stuff until almost right before our first game. So he missed the summer to fall. He's now just getting comfortable with how we want him to play. And we kind of had to figure out how maybe we want him to play. You know, he's tough enough. He can be like a small ball five. I mean, he's Tremont Green played small ball five for the Warriors. They won a few championships with him doing it. He's similar size to Tremont. He's, we, we, we actually showed him a lot of Tremont clips. How, how do you, you know, Tremont's okay shooter, but you know, Mo Diabate can make a three, but he's much better handling it, getting to the rim, getting his teammates open. So, you know, we've had to kind of teach him how to play in our five out offense without being a great shooter. How do you get your teammates open? How do you find <coughs> angles to get to the rim? How do you, you know, if you put him out there with Grant at the five and Grant can shoot and space the other team's five, or if the five ends up on him, he can drive the five. So he's gotten more comfortable in our offense. He's always been a tough guy. You know, even from the minute he stepped into practice, live stuff. I mean, he, nobody really wants to guard him because he's going to come downhill. And you're going to take a shoulder through through your chin. Like he's, he plays with some force and some physicality, and he rebounds hard. So we needed a little of that. So when we were able, to, he was able to get comfortable enough. We could put him in more. You know, I thought it made us tougher. I mean, sure, he got it tonight, and tough. You know. Second chance point, he got the old board, made a tough play in the first half, but that's what he does. Katie. That sequence towards the end of the first half when Ryland shot the three straight threes and Mo and Jaron got the offensive boards, is that sequence kind of like a dream sequence for you of what blue collar basketball is all about? Yeah, it was. I, I had goosebumps thinking about that. As you brought it up, I was thinking about it when I was talking about Diabate, because and Jared too. Jared's come a long ways with how tough he's played. He's always had some toughness to him, but he's doing it on a consistent basis now instead of picking and choosing when he's going to play tough. So, you know, Rylan, give him three chances, he's probably going to make one. He's better than a 33% shooter. So, yeah, I, I, I was fired up for that sequence. That was that exactly how we want to play. Like, we, we only shot 31% from three. That, that's not, we're closer to a 40% shooting team. But, you know, second chance points, we had 19. We had three of them on that play. Uh, I thought that was huge. Chase. Coach, this was uh, Jaron's 
first time scoring double digits in a conference game. If, if he starts coming alive as a scorer, what does that do for this team down the stretch? Yeah, I mean, that allows us to play a little bit bigger. You know, we can kind of put the four guards in for offense, but if you got a 6'10 guy at the four shooting four six from three, you can play bigger, rebound better, have some size on defense, and, and, and play a lot more next to Crane at the five. So, you know, I thought, sure, you could even play some five. He's, he's getting tougher in there and can guard him. I mean, if you got him making threes like he is in traditional fives, you're having to try to guard him on the offensive end. I mean, he can help us a lot. He, he's grown up a lot. Like I said, he's playing really hard. Should I'm looking at let us in plus minus in 22 and a half minutes with plus 29 with him in the game. So he's, he's come a long ways. He's starting to really show what we thought he could be for us. Two more, three. When the bigs get into foul trouble, how important is it for guards like Aaron to step up and press boards? Yeah, huge. I mean, even with playing four four guards, I mean, we're trying to get Aaron a double. You know, it's his birthday today, so we triple double birthday is what we were trying to preach to him. We didn't make enough shots for him to get enough assists, but you know, he had 15, eight and three. I mean, it's just a, more than a solid game on his birthday, but you know, we need him to rebound well. Sears is more than capable of having double digit rebounds. Said that multiple times here. We need Aaron Sears, right? So all of them need to get in and rebound. You know, shoot, Sam Walters, uh, Ended up with seven rebounds to play in 20 minutes. So we need more of that from him at 6'9. So we need everybody to step up and help rebound. When you do that, you can all rebound in a pretty tough team by 11 like we did tonight. Last one, Blake. Yeah, you mentioned it already, but didn't shoot particularly really well from three. Still scored almost 100, still won by 30. Where did you think most of the, most of the success was coming from on the offensive? Uh, we, our points off turnovers were a lot bigger than they've been most of the year. I thought we played harder on D. Four sport turnovers. We're trying to do that. We don't have the rim protector we had last year, so we got to do things a little differently on defense. We've been trying to get more aggressive, force more turnovers, score off those turnovers. You know, we scored 27. I don't know if that's a season high on points off turnovers, but my guess would be it probably would be. So I thought that's where some of them came from. You know, we also got, we didn't make a ton of threes. I mean, we made 15, we took a lot, we didn't shoot a high percentage, 15 is still a lot to make, but we didn't shoot a high percentage, but, you know, the, the offensive rebounds, we had 20 awards. I mean, we, we shot 83 field goals, they only shot 55. Part of that is they lived at the free throw line, but, you know, we did get almost 30 more field goals than them. So, if you get 30 more, you don't have to shoot a real high percentage to almost score 100. So, 83 field goals, a lot of field goals. So, Turnovers, offensive rebounds, I thought our guys were good. Both of those things are measured off effort. I thought our effort was pretty good tonight. Thank you, Coach. Thanks. How did the freshman sing happy birthday? How, how was it? What did you say? How? Yeah, how we was... always have the freshmen, you know, like the rookies sing happy birthday. Really bad. They're not very good singers, but it's <laughs> good for Sound about like me if I had to sing it. So. Really